If you've ever strolled through Savannah, you likely have smelled their pralines from the street. But there's a much bigger story this holiday season happening behind the doors of the Savannah Candy Kitchen. I got a chance to speak with the owner about why this year is so special to them. The spinning of the chocolate, the stretching of the toffee, and the pressing of sweet treats. All of this and more happening right behind the doors of Savannah's Candy Kitchen. My parents lived up here before I was born. They lived above this candy store. They, they used to open the store. My mother would run the, the cash registers in the main counter. My dad came in here and actually made the candies. That's Rhett Strickland. He and his family started this candy land 40 years ago. A family tradition passed down three generations. It's a place where you can satisfy your sweet tooth this holiday season. It's busy, but we're ready and we're prepared for it. The options are endless. They have Rice Krispies with every topping you could imagine. Hand dipped strawberries, ice cream made right in house, and of course, Rhett's favorites. Toffee is something that I think is just great this time of year. It's nostalgic. It's got an almond flavor. It's got a brittle bite to it, but it's also got dark or milk chocolate around it. So it's a really good southern product, but I will feel uh, blasphemous if I don't say a praline. That is what put us here. Rhett tells me the praline is the first piece of candy his dad made in the shop back in 1973. And since then, it's put them on the map. The praline is something really special to us, and we do more pralines here than anybody else in the world. And according to Rhett, this holiday season will be no different. In fact, the Savannah Candy Kitchen may be USP's biggest customer. We're still pushing packages out as fast as we can. We'll probably send anywhere from seven to 10,000 customers out the door today. A huge accomplishment for the candy kitchen. Rhett says every year, especially during the holidays, he hopes to get his candies in as many homes as possible. While this year is no different, his motivation is. He tells me he wants this year to be all about his father's legacy. For some of you that may not know, my father and our founder, Stan Strickland, um, passed earlier this year in May. Um, he has actually uh, been my whole life the compass and this company's compass. He wanted us to be here 100 years from now. He wanted people to know Savannah, Georgia for a praline. He wanted people to enjoy Savannah's Candy Kitchen. And if I can pass that along to my son, then goal has been achieved. Stan Strickland was recently honored with the Tourism Leadership Council John P. Rosakis Community Champion Award because of his dedication to making Savannah a great place to visit and a sweet place to live. Family tradition lives on, and that's what we're all about here at Savannah's Candy Kitchen. Actually went back to the Savannah <laughs> Candy Kitchen this weekend um, after I did the story because I just needed more. It, it more, won't be more, the last more. time you're there. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a sugar coma just from yeah. watching that. I, I, I don't know how they lived above that. And I mean, boy, you got to work, you work way too close to where you're eating, eating work. I don't know. I living yeah. right above it would have been amazing. Um, the smell would have been that's so intoxicating. Cool. Yeah, and we had uh, Jesse Blanco on here. He didn't mm -hmm. like it. Jesse Blanco talking about getting Savannah stuff that you can send off for gifts. This yeah. is perfect. You see him oh, packaging yeah. those things up. You go down there, pick out what you like and send it off to it. Um, hint, hint. Here's yeah. some things that you could send to, you know, <laughs> I'm send need to that. Yep. stuff out of you know, out of town, that's great. It's an opportunity to, to yeah. spread Savannah out there to other people. Too. And we saw what the company means to this community also by the sentiments expressed when right. Mr. Strickland passed away sure. earlier this year. Uh, online, in the community, and now with this award, it just shows how much he and what he built has meant here. Exactly. Well, and Rhett is doing such a great job. That's going to live on for as long as we keep wanting candy, which is going to be forever. <laughs> <Not> always. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, coming up this weekend, you can see trees decorate.